I have a question from the Bible in Exodus 23, um, verse 13. 23, 13, and in all that I have said to you, be circumspect, okay? And make no mention of the name of other gods, nor let it be heard from your mouth. So my question is, sister, what should be the balance today? For example, now that there is flexibility in traveling to other countries, see other cultures, cultures that practice traditions from their ancestors that in a way sought the spiritual or the concept of God. So I'd like to know, sister, what is the balance in visiting, for example, Hindu temples, as we understand this is their way to come close to God. But to what point? Yes, sister. I understand what the sister is asking. What should our behavior or attitude be before those situations? The sister especially says when someone goes and travels and they're getting to know new cities and towns, well, we should not even think about going to those temples, not even out of curiosity. Like the Buddhist temple. Don't be curious to go in because you will lose blessings. The devil is there, ready to sow curiosity, and you will be charged very heavily for it. So don't do it. Why should you? Why do you want to know about those things? What fruit or spirituality will that give you? But what you will do is be very zealous with God, and so we must be careful with that. And so we say, well, I don't care about that. I'd rather go look at the gardens, the lake, or a bridge, or look at the architecture of a building and its construction, rather than going to temples of idols. Because that does not please God. And it doesn't interest us. I'm not interested in knowing or seeing or getting to know or because it's their culture. I don't care about their culture. What I care about is God. God lives. And we must please him. We must honor God and be very zealous and be very careful of the Lord's word. And the Lord taught the people of Israel so much on this. He taught them to keep everything. And he said, all of those gods, do not mention them. He says, make no mention of the name of other gods, nor let it be heard from your mouth. And as some might say, well, the God of such and such place or the statue of such and such place worked a miracle. So then you testify and share with people that that God worked that miracle. People hear you say that and people think, well, is that true? Does he work miracles? I'm curious. There is curiosity that rises. And so we are not interested. We're not interested in that part of people's culture or religions. What we care about is what God tells us in the Bible, what the Holy Spirit tells us, what God gives us in visions and dreams. That is what we're interested in. Everything else, I will skip. So we must be very careful. There was once some brothers in a country, I won't mention where, it was two brothers of the church. They were driving their car down the road and they found themselves in a place that was visited by a lot of tourists and they were visiting a statue of a virgin there in that place and everyone who would pass would stop and go there to render homage to the statue and to look at it and to get to know it and i had heard of this place that this place existed and these brothers got curious and said well this is where such and such a virgin is let's go and look at it let's see what everyone's talking about and so they went to look now, imagine the devil entered one of them, and after when they left, after they had gone to look out of curiosity, and we must be very careful and very wise with curiosity, because we can make many mistakes because of curiosity. So when they were on their way back, they get back into the car to continue on the road, 
the devil went into the person who was driving. So the other brother saw him. He saw him with very long fangs like they normally depict the devil in movies. So his teeth had long fangs and he was dark and had horns and he looked terrible just as he's depicted. And that is how he presented himself before the other brother. He was transformed. So the brother saw him and got scared and terrified. And the other, who was disguised as the devil in that moment, was laughing and started to drive off of a cliff. So he was going to drive off of a cliff. And the other person on the other side tried to grab the steering wheel and hold on. And they were fighting against each other. And he had to cry out to God and say, Lord, help me, because this person is trying to throw us off of a cliff. It was a cliff of almost 300 meters in height. And that was the struggle. And what do you think happened? Well, it was God who was angered with them because they got curious because they were trying to go look at things that should not be of their interest, especially for the followers of God. That should not be something we're interested in. And the devil almost threw them off of a cliff. Almost. That happened. That experience. So now that the sister asks that question, well, there's the answer. There's the answer. So let's be wise. Let us have understanding. Let us love God. Let us always read the Bible so that we learn and you will see that nothing bad will ever happen.